I'm here with Becca from the SPCA and she's brought in this adorable puppy <laughs> named Caddy. Super, super shy, uh, very timid almost, mm -hmm. but very adorable nonetheless yes. <laughs> and super soft um, on the head. Yes. Tell me a little bit about how she came to the SPCA, I believe uh, with a litter of puppies you yes, mentioned. Yes, there was, there was three of them all together, so they were all named after Dumbo characters. <laughs> So uh, the other two have found their homes now, so she's the only one left, unfortunately. But she'll, we're, we're sure she'll find her home soon. But yeah, they were found on the side of the road just outside of Onion Lake. Um, so someone did pick them up and brought them in. And we've, they were a little bit skinny, but not too, too bad. So we've gotten them all healthy and vaccinated and ready to go for adoption now. And do you know what breed they are? Because I feel that there's a different texture of her fur than her body, yeah. like on her head than her body. So do you do you kind of have an idea of what breed that she may be? We would probably just say a German Shepherd cross. <laughs> She's got a lot of the German Shepherd markings, but they are a little bit different mm -hmm. from what a normal Shepherd would look like. So probably a little bit of something else in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> sees herself <laughs> but, uh, but yeah just basically a mixture probably and how old do you think she is um, do you think she'll grow any bigger or oh yeah 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 she she's only creeping up on four months old now yeah. so she's quite a large puppy um, so we think that she will be a big dog so mm -hmm. she'll need a lot of space to run um, at, you know right now taking her outside she was completely terrified but I and within a couple of days, I see that changing for sure. Um, but yeah, she, she'll be a very high energy dog. Okay. Uh, so she'll just need a family that can match that. And we did notice that she is really shy around mm -hmm. amongst people. How yeah. is she with uh, other dogs or even cats uh, just walking past their kennels and stuff? Yeah, for the most part, the dogs, she's fine. Um, like, I think it's a bit of her safe zone right now at the <laughs> shelter. So, you know, you open the kennel door and she doesn't bolt. She's like very much like why are you opening the door like this is my little safe spot here um but uh like like i said when they first came in they were really really terrified of us but now they absolutely love us mm -hmm. but taking her here she was a little bit <laughs> a little overwhelmed but again i you know with that socialization mm -hmm. of taking her out and and being in the community, I think she would just yeah, warm right up to everybody. So she would be fine in a setting where there would be little children I wandering think so, around. Yeah. Like I said, like, you know, again, with little kids, I mean, you always want to teach them to kind of, <laughs> kind of not grab or things like that. Mm -hmm. And then when she does get that spurt of energy, you know, she might, again, bold, bold them over <laughs> a little bit. But, you know, that comes with training again, too. So she, I, th I think she'd be really good in any family. And we were <coughs> talking just a little bit off camera. You mentioned that uh, you've had a large increase in dog adoptions this yeah. past week. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, like so I, I normally post our dog or our animal adoptions every Monday. Um, so yeah, this week it was nice to see. I think there was five dogs this past week. So and our old timer Zeus that was only there for about a week as well did find his forever home. And we've gotten updates already that he's really, really fitting in well, and he's quite, quite happy he adopted him. So we're really happy for him in that aspect. Yes, amazing. I was checking back on that post yeah. you know, every couple of hours, <laughs> yeah. and then when I saw that he was adopted, mm -hmm. I just got so happy because yes. you know, <laughs> last couple of years he deserves to be with yeah, people nice who love him home. and all that. And yeah. <laughs> how are you doing with number wise for cats? Because that, that's always a big, yeah. uh, big thing for the SPCA, always mm -hmm. having too many cats. So how are you guys doing? with numbers on that yeah we're still like like you know I think uh, we have our little thing that we always update up on our wall and we're at about 60 so we're really lowering in uh, numbers in foster mm -hmm. um, so most of our animals are in shelter now um, so again we're still most of our kennels are full we did um, you know a few cats that were abandoned we have them at the shelter so I did a straight post today as well there was only three cats on there but um, realistically, we had just called someone off of a waiting list, so that was three cats there, and then the three that were abandoned, and then those three. So we've just gotten nine in in the last few days. So wow. <laughs> it, it does happen quickly that we do fill up, and and like I said, with that waiting list, you know, as soon as we do have that space, we try and get everybody that's on there in. Or, as, as we can. <laughs> and really quickly before we wrap up, is there any other events or things that the SPCA are uh, doing upcoming? Yeah, like we just have our Valentine's Day photos. I'm, I think we're going to try doing it on the 13th at PetSmart for sure. Um, and, you know, just so we're, we're not invading on Valentine's Day <laughs> itself. <laughs> Even if your animal is your Valentine, then we can just do it on the 13th. But, uh, but yeah, we'll try and do that at PetSmart uh, on the 13th. 
All right. Well, thank you so much for bringing in Caddy, yes. who's <laughs> fall, starting to fall asleep yeah. just a little bit. Uh, so thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having us.